Good morning guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. We're out this morning looking at a 9460R. We've got a guy that's got a 9460R with some EGR codes. And so we're gonna look into that for a few minutes. Man, it is nice out this morning. It was 31 degrees when I got out here this morning. Um, we're gonna make a live connection using Service Advisor. So I've got my cable hooked up now and uh, we're gonna make that connection, run a quick harness mode test and see what codes we get and uh, check into this EGR issue. Okay guys, so I've got my service advisor live connection made. Okay, and we're going to get into our diagnostics, go to tests. Um, we're going to run a quick harness mode test just to see what codes that, uh, so we do have an active code here of a 2791.07, which is gonna be a communication code with the EGR valve. So I'm gonna hit next. We're gonna run a harness mode test. It's running a harness mode test now. Okay, that 2791.07 um, still came back as an active EGR valve code. Okay, so I'm gonna run this test one more time while I'm connected to the tractor. And uh, so you can kind of listen and see what it's doing there. Maybe if you could hear that, it cycled the air throttle valve, the EGR valve, and basically pretty much um, kind of checked all the circuits within the engine harness. Um, still continue to hit that 2791.07 EGR code. Uh, so I had a new EGR code on the truck. I plugged it into the harness, didn't install it right away, just plugged it into the harness, ran the harness mode test again. Um, all the codes were gone. It wasn't active anymore. So I cleared the codes and now we'll go ahead and replace that EGR valve and probably go ahead and run an exhaust clean and get this tractor back in the field and get this customer going. So we replaced the EGR valve in this 9460R. I have the old valve here in front of me. Um, we basically just had a failed EGR valve. Real quick, the butterfly on the valve was opening and closing pretty much like it was supposed to running the heart during running the harness mode test. But the top portion of this EGR valve also is a sensor that looks at the position of that butterfly valve. And so that 2791.07 code was basically saying that it wasn't seeing the correct position on the EGR valve when the ECU commanded it to move to a certain position. So long story short, we would hit that 2791.07 code and then derate the power also. So the new EGR valve fixed his problem and just a real recap, quick recap on that situation. Um, Service Advisor is a great tool to run a harness mode test real quick to diagnose these issues. Um, but there's also times when I've been out in the field and didn't have Service Advisor working or my battery was not charged on my laptop or for whatever reason I didn't have a Service Advisor available. Uh, just a real quick tip that you can, um, on these engines, plug in and unplug a lot of different components like that and clear the codes using the onboard diagnostics on the tractor. I've done that several times out in the field when I didn't have service advisor available and uh, fixed my problem that way. So just a quick tip that you can do that um, if, you don't, if you don't have service advisor available to be able to use that. So anyway, we're gonna return this tractor back to the field. Customer's gonna go plow some cotton ground and uh, we're gonna move on to the next job. Larry the Tractor Guy signing out.